welcome back everybody so if you've just come to this video from the last one um, we are doing multi-test copper so as you see in the last video we've been dosing copramine in our hospital tank um, so we've just done our second dose in our last video um, and now 48 hours later from uh, when we initially started we are going to do a test to see where our levels are at and I'm going to show you how to do this test look at the results together um, and go from there so in the box this is what we get we've got our instructions and how to dose which I'll go through and I'll explain but basically we get our chart um, color comparison which is how we measure and um, the amount of copper in the water so we can check that we're at therapeutic level which is here hopefully so we're going to test today and see you get your pipette you get your little stirring stick um, you get your little dish which is what we did the test in I don't know why the six because you only use one of them but the six um, you get this this is called uh, copper re no sorry uh, yeah copper region this is called um, you get the most pathetic tiny tiny little bit in there which apparently I don't know if you can see that how small this is that's enough for 75 tests apparently I've already done one didn't really seem to change now I will say um, from the one that I've already done um, when you you put your little stick in it um, this thing you do get a very very light dusting um, no sort of little lumps or anything at all um, and I mean it does seem like it spreads quite far um, the first test I did seemed to work pretty fine and I feel like there was literally nearly nothing on it so um, we'll see um, now this is a copper reference um, so if you believe that the test is given a false reading you can use this as a reference to make sure that the test is reading accurately so generally we shouldn't need that um, and then this is one of the copper solutions that we mix it with to get our results so I'll show you how to do it get a pipette a little water to the tip of the bulb which is just a full squeeze put it in there same again like so now I don't really get it because that is literally filled to the brim so Get the tiniest little dribble back out. Maybe I've put a little bit too much in. The idea is, I'm, I'm sure, is just to fill it, but we do need to be able to put two drops of this in. So you need room for two drops, which are tiny, but there we go. One, two, like so. this one and then we use this open by magic just like that okay. and then with our tiny little stick put that down there and then tap it on the sides to knock everything back off effectively uh, can you see there's a really really light dusting tiniest tiniest little bit um, but barely touched it so the lid back on that then what we do with our stick is we drop it in there and we give it a stir make sure you get it off Get a good stir for several seconds, stir it right into all the solution, mix in the, the drops, the water and the powder that we've just mixed. Like so. Now we wait. 
Test results can take up to four minutes with salt water. Um, I think it's up to 20 minutes with fresh water. Um, but we're doing salt, so there we go. Um, we will come back in a minute when we've got our results and then we'll do some comparing. So hopefully you can see that color pretty clear. Um, so this just works as a slider. You just pull it in and out, kind of go along until you find that the color matches. So say 0 0.5 is where we want to be, which I mean I think we're pretty close. I've got to be honest, I don't think this is clearly not the most accurate way to be able to test copper. Um, if you've got the money you want to spend sort of 60, 70 quid on a digital HANA tester for copper, then I'd probably recommend it. Um, but I was in an emergency situation, needed to get a test so I could accurately dose as quick as possible. And although this may not be the most accurate way of doing it. It gives me a good idea at least at sort of roughly where I'm at. Um, I don't think we're sort of quite this dark yet. Um, so I think by the looks of it we've done pretty good. We're about where we need to be according to this. Um, as I say it wouldn't surprise me if we're off a little bit because it's not the most accurate. But I think that looks pretty good to me. So that's it. That's day two of our dosing. Oh, well sorry that's our second dose. Uh, we're 48 hours in now. So there you have it, um, that is Seachum's multi-test copper test kit, um, the bits of it, how to do it and so on, um, hope you find the video helpful, um, if you need any help or advice, if I can help again as I said before, please do mention in the comments, and again I really appreciate anyone that likes, comments and subscribes, hopefully see you in the next one.